Hello folks, hope you're all keeping well these days. Welcome to a basic mortar use tutorial. I'm going to walk you through the basic kit, how to use the mortar tube, and some effective uses for this versatile weapon. For starter, you should be aware of the material cost of mortar tubes and ammunition. It's an expensive piece of kit to lose, so be careful when taking them out into the field. A single crate of five mortars requires 100 basic materials and 25 refined materials to produce. A crate of 15 mortar shells costs 15 heavy explosive materials and 60 basic materials. Mortar shrapnel shells are more affordable with a crate of 15 require 90 basic materials and 30 explosive materials. If you're practicing how to use a mortar, I highly suggest using shrapnel shells to get a feel for the weapon. You can also use flare shells, costing 15 less explosive materials to light up enemies during the nighttime. Armor piercing shells are more expensive, but can only be used by the mortar half track and not the mortar tube. When using the mortar tube solo, you will be very exposed at close range and also be highly valuable target for the enemy team. By equipping a radio, you will be able to keep an eye on enemy movements in the area using the map, and a gas mask will help you from taking damage from gas grenades. Binoculars will assist you in spotting the enemy from a distance and allow you to target your mortar shots. Of course, you will need a mortar tube and ammunition, either four shrapnel shells or regular mortar shells. Before heading out into the front line, get used to the controls. When you have the mortar tube equipped, use the right mouse button to set your azimuth. Your mouse wheel can be used to set the distance of your shot. Equipping your binoculars allows you to use the right mouse button to extend your line of sight far beyond what you are normally capable of. By pairing the information gained from the binoculars with the mortar tube, you can fire shot at a great distance from relative safety. You can also change the type of shot by pressing the F button if you have different shells in your inventory. When you have arrived at the front line, you will need to make sure that your position for firing is secure. Make sure there's plenty of nearby infantry or other support, and maybe even ask some of them to cover what you while you make your shots. You may even ask them if there's any entrenched enemies that are causing problems for them, or if some structure such as a foxhole is causing them issues. Scan the battlefield and look for targets to shoot. Remember, when picking a target, the mortar tube is slow to fire. Shooting at mobile targets is difficult, so entrenched enemies and structures are ideal targets. The mortar tube has an effective range between 45 and 65 meters. Using the binoculars, try and spot an enemy or structure or stationary vehicle within that range. Take note of the distance and azimuth displayed above their, your mouse cursor when hovering over the location you wish to fire. Equip your mortar tube and load it with a shot using the right mouse button. Aim the mortar by matching the azimuth for, with what you noted from the binoculars. You can adjust the range using the mouse wheel. Once you have fired your shot, you can re-equip your binoculars to see the damage you have done. You can see the here, the fuel truck that I targeted has been disappeared and the battle tank is no longer able to refuel. Remember that mortar tubes and shells are expensive. It is important to be strategic with your shots. Starting out, I recommend only shooting at stationary targets such as emplacements, stationary vehicles, foxholes, or other entrenched enemies. Working as a team with a partner, calling out your shots is an effective way to ensure the shots are not going to waste, especially when shooting at a mobile target. Regular mortar shots are not incredibly effective when shooting at heavily armored targets, but foxholes, emplacements, tier 1 encampments, garrison houses, or town halls can all be great targets when you're first starting out, especially if they are causing difficulty for your teammates. Mortar shells can also be effective at combating all but the most heavily armored vehicles. Vehicles such as armored cars or half-tracks can quickly be disabled with a few strategic mortar so shots. While well, most unarmored vehicles can be instantly disabled with a direct shot, you'll quickly get a feel for the types of targets that you can effectively use the mortar against. This was just a quick primer, and there's a lot to learn when it comes to deploying mortars effectively against the enemy. Once you get a feel for using the mortar tube, definitely think about teaming up with others to maximize your effectiveness. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, consider subscribing if you did. Until next time, catch you later.